What's up? What's up? What's up? Sagittarius. Why are you so mysterious, baby? What's going on, Saggy? Sag, what is going on? It is Scorpion Red Zero. I am back at it again. One time for the one time to let you know what is going on with you for the month of July 2019. Shout out to everyone who's clicked this video. Thank you so much for all the love, light, and support. Shout out to everyone who has been supporting the page. We got some new deck announcements, some new decks, new decks, new decks. Why I didn't already have this out? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, it's a couple of new decks in this bitch. Y'all already seen Gangsta Ass Alice. If y'all been watching the uh, collective videos, y'all know Gangsta Ass Alice be coming through like, get that shit out of here. Okay, I'm going say for it. Okay? We got the Under the Rose Lenormand deck here we're going to be using today. These two will be used today. Um, As well as this one, the Oracle of Visions deck. All right? And all of these came by way of... The Amazon wish list. Thank you guys so much for supporting through the Amazon wish list. If you guys want to send support through the Amazon wish list, um, all of the information for that in my PayPal is in the about tab. We also got here the Genius um, music playing card deck, as well as this came from my baby girl Callie. The uh, rap quotes East versus Wet. West playing card decks. As y'all know, I told y'all I was going to be studying Cardamancy, so just know you will probably see me pull my phone out to verify once I get to that portion of the reading um, what the cards actually mean after I go off of my just intuition and stuff like that. I wanted to just say thank you so much to everyone who's been booking personal private readings and has been showing support. Have it been through PayPal or through the Amazon wish list. Um, you know, you guys just been sending a lot of support when these videos resonate and stuff like that and it helps me be able to pour the love back into the page so we can switch up these decks and I can update my equipment so I greatly greatly appreciate the love so shout out to all of you guys and if you want to book a personal or private reading the information is in the about tab only thing that you need to do is click the booking link which is scorpion reds is simply book me again it's scorpion reds is simply book me then link up with me my instagram is right under that so after you book your reading Go ahead and um, hit me up on Instagram. Send me a personal message and say, hey, Reds, is this, this, and that. My name is this. Um, I book with you on this day, and then we'll connect there for the video reading. If you don't have Instagram, you can use my email, which is also on the About tab, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. You can use that email on this app, which is called Google Hangouts. It's an easy app to download after we finish the reading. If you don't want to keep it, you can delete it. Um... But again, you can use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com, scorpionreds at gmail.com. If you don't have Instagram, you can connect with me on Google Hangouts. If you don't want to get on video to do a live reading session with me, you can purchase an add-on uh, for a direct video upload. You can also use that add-on for the people that are doing the live video sessions with me. If you want to record your video session, if you want a private link to your video, I can record that for you and do a private upload for you as well. Um, so what you need to do for the ones that do not want a private video session and you just want the direct video upload what you need to do is after you book the reading with me send me a message on whichever platform you choose have it be Instagram or Google Hangouts and say hey Rez this is so and so um, I booked this reading this is my question I don't want to get on camera um, and then I will record the video for you just make sure that you only send me what you want to know don't tell me the situation surrounding it while you're asking a question okay so, um, again, that's the booking information, um, all my contact information, everything is in the about tab. Thank you guys again for the support. So let's get into the reading. Father God, thank you so, so very much for bringing us here for the sign of Sagittarius. Because you know, mm, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. And you know, we try, we here trying to crack the code. We trying to crack the mystery, honey. Because you know, we about that action, honey. We ain't about sitting back waiting, trying to see what's going on. We about that action. We about to figure out what's going on and what we about to do and get it done. Because you already know. You already know how we is, okay? Alright? So, Father... Thank you so much for just placing your hands on us and just placing yourself so visible in our life where we are just seeing the movements and seeing how you are coming through and making changes in our life and forcing us to make certain changes ourselves. Father God, thank you so much for growing 
with us and through us, Father God. Thank you so much for, you know, just helping us just bear witness to just the miracle of just how gracious you are. And as long as we are good to ourselves, you know, you'll be as good to us as we are to ourselves, Father God. So I appreciate everything that you've been doing for us, Father God. Please continue to heal us, continue to move our steps our feet towards our steps and our path, Father God, and give us guidance for my Sagittarius's um, to help us crack the code. I don't know. I just, I, I keep feeling like I, it's something about cracking some code anyway. It's something, something going on, Father God. Give, give it. We won't crack the code today. Help us crack the code, Father God. Um, give us guidance for my Sagittarius for July 2019. Thank you again for all the blessings and the messages in the past, present, and the future. Thank you again. Give us guidance for Sagittarius. I gotta get into this because what are we doing today? Why well, keep hearing something about cracking the code? Something about go mode. I'm on go mode. I'm about to crack this code. I'm on go mode. What the heck does that mean? Anyway. Give me guidance for my Sagittarius. Thank you so much for July. What's our daily guidance for my Sagittarius? Give me daily guidance for my Sagis. It said release and surrender. Release and surrender. Why that was flipped up though? I definitely feel like that was meant for you, but I, that was already flipped up in the deck. I don't think you tried another card. Okay. And God said, except what the fuck I put out here for them. I already know what the fuck, why I did that. Okay. I told him to release and surrender. Don't be asking for another car, bitch. I told you to accept what the fuck I said the first time. But release and surrender and accept what the fuck I just said. Okay. <laughs> Release and surrender and acceptance. So, listen, I feel like maybe it, it, it is that you guys need to stop trying to crack the code, trying to figure certain shit out. It says, we shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands and your arms and your heart to our love and assistance. And acceptance, it says, see yourself and others through the eyes of the angel with unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you aspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. So, it's somebody that's in y'all's energy, someone that's in y'all's space, someone that y'all dealing with, or a situation that y'all are dealing with right now, Sagittarius. You just need to accept it for what it is, you know? I feel like you need to release and surrender your expectations in this situation with whatever this is. You understand? Stop holding on so tightly. Stop trying to crack this code or trying to crack this nut. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the, what's the um, hard ass nuts where you got to get the nut crack? What is it? Walnuts? Like, you try to take. <laughs> like you try to take like regular like forks and like spoons or something trying to crack this nut like no you need to release like just like accept that you not going to be able to crack this open you know what I'm saying just accept motherfuckers for who they are accept the situation for who it is or what it is if you couldn't open it up if you couldn't get people to open up to you I think that's what it is I feel like you're trying to get someone to open up to you and tell you what's wrong, what's going on, or or something. And I feel like you just need to just release the expectations in regards to that. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was just like trying to crack the code. I'm like, what the fuck is you trying to crack a code for? Maybe y'all, is y'all looking through someone's phone? Like y'all trying to crack somebody code? Because y'all trying to find out something? Oh, okay, let me find out. Because like... It's like I'm on go mode. Give me guidance, Father. Give me guidance for my Sagittarius for July. Thank you so much, Father. Give me guidance for my Sagittarius. Thank you so much. Give me guidance for my Sagittarius. Five of Pentacles. Y'all are going through some type of financial struggle right now. 
y'all are going through some type of financial struggle and it's also like poverty and lack mindset is the answer to that on apple Watch. Honey, why is you trying to talk to me, honey? I ain't, I, Miss Siri, I ain't asked you to say nothing to me. Um, <laughs> and you hear Siri just said she couldn't find that shit on my Apple Watch. Like, the Prince of Wands here. The Two of Cups. Someone's been shut out. Someone. Someone's been closed out. Someone has been. Someone's been shut out. Someone's moving forward towards new beginnings. I feel like someone's getting messages and new love here. And someone's being shut out in the cold. Someone's getting brand new messages. I'm like younger suitors possibly as well. That Prince of Wands right there. Um, yeah, most definitely. He's about that action. So this is another, you know, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. You know? The Two of Cups. Two of Cups. A lot of new messages about new suitors, new love, new ambitions in life, new goals, new aspirations. It's just like that shit in the past, I feel like you guys are releasing, surrendering it, and accepting it. It was impoverished. It was holding you down. It was decreasing your value. You understand? It left you begging. It left you like this is something that gave you a lot of mental stress and anxiety. And it's like you are begging someone to give you attention and to give you favor, to pay attention to you, to help you, to give you aid, to give you comfort, to take you out of the shadows, out of the cold, out of your misery, feeling like nothing is ever going to go right. Like this is this is a situation where. Due to. This was a situation where before you were left out in the streets begging, you know, and it was like you got so complacent. We're trying to hold on to that, trying to crack the code, trying to get someone to do right by you. You know what I'm saying? You were so complacent on trying to hold on to that. I want to say that it, it kind of fucked y'all up a little bit. Y'all are just now getting to the point where y'all able to accept and release and surrender this shit. And to live again, almost. I feel like you guys are starting to get messages from new people that are making you feel young again, that are making you feel wanted again, that is getting that fire lit back in you. You know? You're starting to get this communication. You're starting to see that there is love outside of this situation. There's love outside of a situation where you're left begging. You're left wanted. You're left wanting. You're left by someone that didn't give a fuck if you had a pot to piss in, a window to throw it out of. If you could make your rent. If the children was fed. If you needed anything. Like this is someone that just completely just like abandoned you. And left you and like really in a cold way like left you in a cold way left you this ace of pentacles is in the reverse you got the four of pentacles and then you also got the four of wands right here okay so whatever that situation was in the past this one here it did affect you guys in your ability and how y'all think because even though I do see that there are messages of new love and everything and as you can see at the end here you see the four wands it is going to lead to some type of commitment but it's going to take some time to grow it's going to take some time to grow because you're still going to have to like learn to hold yourself back and to 
not give as much of yourself that you did to this thing before because this thing that you you gave your all to it where you were literally left with nothing when this person left you you understand what i'm saying and i really do feel like for some reason i don't know if this is someone that you have children with because prince prince of wands can also represent children you know what i'm saying so i do feel like I do feel like, you know, this could also mean that you guys are shut out by someone that you have children with. You're waiting on communication. You want the fire to get lit back into the situation. And you want to kind of start over again. Um, like you want to start over again. Wanting communication wanting this thing to start over again because you still love this person but the grass is not growing like the seed is not growing appropriately someone whoever this is that left you out in the cold is holding off is holding their self back do you understand because it looks like they may be in another commitment here it could also be read that way as well. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like if this is someone that the Sagittarius has children with and if you're waiting on communication for new beginnings because you, you, you still love this person and this person has left you out in the cold. Spirit is letting you know that you need to release and you need to surrender and accept that because it's not going to grow. Do you understand? It's not going to grow. This person is still holding itself off and holding itself back from you. They're keeping something from you. They're still in a, in a commitment somewhere else. So that's for that group. Okay? That's for that group. But like I said, there is someone. They just got out of. That's why I have it separated like this. They just got out of a situation. Where. Someone walked away from them and cut them out of their life and let them out in the cold. Now they're starting all over. Their life is starting all over. They're just now getting new messages. Their heart is opening again. They're finding new lovers. But they're taking their time. They're taking their time. They're taking their time. And they're not trying to let this grow too fast. They don't want things to go too fast. Because they're holding themselves back a little bit. Because they want to make sure that whatever they commit themselves to, it, 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 it results in marriage. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it could be two situations. If you're still waiting for someone that let you, that held you out in the cold. If you're still waiting for communication because you still love this person. Ain't nothing going to grow because it's with someone else. If you were left out in the cold and it's the summertime and shit's starting to pop open, <laughs> shit's starting to pop open, your heart is starting to open up and it's starting to love again. But you just not ready to just do anything. You taking that shit slow and you holding yourself back because you're not going to devalue yourself this time. You're not devaluing yourself this time. You ain't giving everybody everything because you want to make sure motherfuckers love you and they won't be committed to you this time. All right. So. Sorry if it took me a little second to explain that, but I just like I had to break that down because I see that in two really different ways. And it's like for the ones that is still holding on to someone that is still left them out in the cold, waiting on communication and things like that, you need to release and surrender that situation and accept it for just what it is. You know what I'm saying? So this person is holding itself back from you, you know? That four pentacles right there. That could also mean someone holding secrets, you know? Someone having something, but they're not willing to give it to you. You understand what I'm saying? They're sitting back, assessing their resources of what they have, and trying to figure out if you're worthy of giving it to. Do you understand what I'm saying? They may have other obligations that they're giving to at the moment, and they are not in the position to keep giving to you like that. That's what the Four of Pentacles represents. Do you understand? Here go. Investigate. I told y'all your child was trying to crack some code. Investigate. And what does it say? Never jam today. Promises that never come to be. Empty words. Not living in the now. So this never jam today is in the reverse. 
You said never jam today, never jam tomorrow. Like, fuck this shit. You understand what I'm saying? You guys... Like I said, y'all trying to crack the code. Y'all trying to figure out why this person is holding itself back. Why this pinnacle isn't growing right. Why something... Why something with someone that you love so much and they're communicating this love to you. You can tell that they love you, but like, why is it things growing right? Why isn't things growing right? So you go start investigating. Look closely, asking questions, thinking before you act. Okay? Why am I keep being left out in the cold like this? Why? Doesn't this person love me? This person communicates with me every day and tell me that they love me every day, that they want to start a new beginning, that they want things to get better. This person comes and lays in the bed with me every day. We have sex damn near every other night. I mean, they're over here. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what, like, what, what's, what's going on? I just, I can't, I can't wrap my mind around this. Why, if they're saying this, why am I not seeing the action? Why, why, like, why do we keep having to go back to the drawing board to have to replan again? Why do I feel like, and they go to flame blown out. Why do I feel like this person is holding back something from me that they're holding secrets from me that they're not giving me their everything? Hmm. Either you guys are married Either you guys are married or you trying to reconnect, reconcile with, with each other or you you know what I'm saying? Like y'all trying to get get the shit back back in place. And this is what you want and this is what they say that they want. And you're confused because this person is holding off and they're holding their self back. And that's why I'm saying for the one that's trying to crack this code because here you go investigating. You're going to come to find out that this was empty promises. Empty words. And your attempt to keep trying to find out what's going on instead of releasing and surrendering and accepting the situation for what it is. Listen, when someone show you who the fuck they are, believe them the first time. If they just went and left you in the dust the first time, what you keep trying to... I don't even want to find out what the fuck this motherfucker doing. I don't care. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't want to marry and, and reconnect and recommit myself to something that's not going to grow right into something that's holding itself back and is hiding something from me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? I want to read this, this to you real quick. This never jam today. What is this saying? Never jam today. In the reverse, so in the reverse, I'm just holding it up right for right now. Being easily manipulated because you believe what people say rather than what they do. Living off of promises and hopes. Wondering if someone will ever deliver the payoff they have promised to you. Fantasizing about tomorrow. Dreaming of yesterday. Do you understand? So it's like stop investigating you're holding your life back. You need to release and surrender and just accept this shit the way it is. I know that you love them. I know that this person keep coming back and forth to you, making promises and shit like that. But what do they always, where, where do you always end up at the next morning? By yourself. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Give me guidance. Can you please clap? Oh, what just fell? Anyway, please clarify this for me. Oh, okay, my crystal just fell. I say, hold on, Lord. Please clarify. Never jam today. Investigate. Five of Pentacles. Prince of Wands. The Lovers. No, that wasn't the Lovers. The Two of Cups. Uh, what was that? The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The Four of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. Release and 
release and surrender and acceptance. Please clarify this spread for my Sagittarius for July. In reverse. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Like there's not, there's not, there's no real work being put into this situation. In the Hermit. And look at this Hermit card. You see how this. I feel like this person is closing itself off to you and just leaving you in the dust. Like, you see how Alice is, like, waving her um, little napkin, like, saying, oh, goodbye. Like, you're leaving again. It's just, like, this person is not really trying to work on this shit with you. Like, it's false promises. Like, it's bullshit. Like, you have to wake up and realize that. Not only that, like, I really do on a high level feel like. How is this making your reputation look? You allowing these people to keep yo yo and you around back and forth, back and forth. But I feel like people are starting to look at you like you're fucking crazy at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's time for you to let this shit go and stop letting this person play with you like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like <laughs> you, you're not living in today. With these promises that are being given to you from this person about what they're going to do tomorrow. And you worrying about what happened yesterday. What are you waking up to right now every morning? This is how you waking up. This is how you waking up. This is how your spread started off. Not only that, I feel like you're dealing with some financial difficulties. You don't have time to worry about someone that ain't giving shit to you any motherfucking way. Do you understand what I'm saying? False hope, false promises. Hermit, someone that's closing itself off to you. They ain't even emotionally giving you shit. What is this? The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You're completely getting taken advantage of being led astray by this person. This person is probably taking advantage of your coin, honey. And they're taking advantage of coin that you don't have. Like, you don't even fucking have it. So why are you allowing someone to come in there and manipulate you, give you false promises, and live off of you? And then... Walk out the door and leave you in the dust, leaving you with all the bills and that. Like, there's someone that come in your house. <laughs> Bro, like, I'm serious. Listen to me, Slim. This is someone, number one, they, they broke. They ain't got nothing to bring to the table any motherfucker way. Look, when they there, both of y'all be down there like that, struggling. You understand what I'm saying? So, there's someone that come to your house, right, when they want fuck and they want bowl of cereal, Come in your house, smoke all your weed, drink all your good uh, uh, juice, eat all your good snacks, all your good lunch meats and shit, or, or all your Kaiser rolls and shit with the good deli cheddar and shit like that. Eat all your good shit. You understand what I'm saying? All your good shit. And as soon as you ain't got no more food, no more deli meat and shit like that, no more uh, salt and vinegar chips and shit, this motherfucker get up and be like, uh, want to start an argument with you and shit, be like, man... I don't even know why I'm here. I don't even want to work out shit with you in the first place. Every time I turn around, you want to motherfucker argue with me about some dumb shit. Nigga, I'm just leaving. Fuck this shit. And you're just like, what do you mean? All right, bye. Like, I guess. And as soon as this motherfucker roll out, dip out again, now here you sitting up there penny pincher trying to figure out how you going to get some more food and shit because this nigga done ate up all your deadly meat. No, all your food and everything that was in your pantry is in this nigga belly. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like... And, and now you sitting up here, look, look. Now you sitting up here twiddling your fuck thumbs trying to figure out what type of odd job and what type of hustle you going to do to try to get you some money because this person just totally, like, seriously here. And then the sun in reverse did, Lord Jesus. This person ain't trying to do shit. This person ain't trying to work nothing out with you. This person is coming to you with bullshit. You got the sun in reverse. Three of Pentacles. The nine of I told you this person is taking advantage of you financially. The page of pentacles and then the seven of wands. I told you this is someone who's just playing you financially for money. I'm sorry, baby. I gotta be the one to like be honest with you about this shit, sweetness. Like seriously. Especially if y'all have kids, this person is just taking advantage of the fact that you got kids. If it I don't listen, I don't, if this is your kid's father, especially if this is your kid's father. And this motherfucker coming to you, coming to your house and y'all got kids, this motherfucker should be walking in the door with bags of groceries. If this motherfucker is not walking in the door with bags of groceries, do not let this motherfucker come in your house. Greet this motherfucker outside. 
I don't even give a fuck if this person don't have no place of residence that you could take your children to. Then you need to go get some money and you need to go take the kids to Chuck E. Cheese or you need well, you need to find somewhere where, where you're going to take them because you're not coming to sit in my house, kick your feet up on my motherfucking couch in my comfortable ass living room, watching my cable, eating my food, chilling. No, you're not laying up in here like you King Tut and shit. Like, no, no. And then I'm sitting up here penny pinching trying to figure out how I'm going to get money to pay these bills and then when I oh I'm going through some emotional shit I can't help you right now I'm going through my own shit don't nobody want to hear that shit do you hear what I'm saying don't nobody want to hear this shit this motherfucker only come around when they're at their lowest and they need you and when they're around you you are not happy you're not happy I don't know what you're holding on to this shit for I don't know why you're holding on to this shit it says we shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Why are you holding on to the challenge? Open your hands and your arms and your heart to our love and assistance. Baby, accept this shit. This shit is just it's going to continue to leave you in this lack mindset. Do you understand? Your finances is definitely not going to get better as long as you allow this person to keep coming around. This person is taking advantage of you. And especially if y'all have kids, they're using their kids to be able to feel like they can freely walk in and out that door because they know that you love them and that you're waiting for them to send you messages that you're trying to start shit again. Because you're looking forward to marriage and commitment and this person is not giving it to you. It's pinch, this person is like penny pinching, like giving you little, 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 and you're not happy. And look, I feel like your friends and your family and everyone is like gathering around you, like trying to give you counsel, trying to help you. And it's like, you're not listening. You're not listening. And I noticed like my Sagittarius numbers have gone down because like y'all readings have been going through. You know, y'all been going through some shit and understand the reason why I am as close as I am with my Libras is because the Libras was where y'all at right now. Last year in 2018, Libras was going through their shit, yo. And I was having to bust their ass open. Like, why? Baby, love yourself. Like, I was having to, like, shake them. Like, Libra, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? And then towards the end of the year... Libra got tired of, I guess, hearing me grill they ass. They got tired of hearing these readings. But a lot of them told me, like, you know what, Reds? Even though that shit was hard for me to hear, I needed to hear that shit. I'm not going to tell y'all no lie, and I'm not trying to hurt y'all. This person is taking advantage of you. You got to love yourself. Don't let no one come around you with false promises that they're going to work some shit out with you when you know good at damn well there's a third party in the back. Do you understand what I'm saying? Unless this third person here that they're, at, they're coming to the table is it's like a counselor or something like that marital counseling or something like that. Unless it's something like that baby this means that there's someone else in the background. Stop letting this person come to you promising to you that they're going to work some shit out only to come back in your house, eat all your food, watch your cable, take advantage of the luxury of everything that you provide only to make you fucking miserable and then walk out and leave you broke. This is the nine of pentacles in reverse. And a walk out and leave you broke. This person comes in with false promises to work out shit with you just to leave you alone and to leave you broke. And Lord knows you don't know this motherfucker probably taking your money going back to the other motherfucker. Like I swear to God, like please y'all. Again, open your arms and release the challenges that you have tightly Help grip within your hands. That is what this says. Read it for me, please. It's saying you've been holding on to this tightly gripped within your hand. God knows for what I don't know. I think that someone really needed to hear this person is only taking advantage of your money. Of your money. 
They only communicate with you because of money. Money. They be dropping little breadcrumbs and shit because they know that you're going to sniff and follow them and that they're going to grab that pinnacle, baby. This is a game. This is a game. Stop playing this game. You're not tired yet? You're not tired of all of this battle, this fussing, this confusion, the drama, seeing shit on Facebook, the Facebook statuses. You ain't tired of all of the competition. You, you, you're not tired? You ain't tired of competing? If this is someone that you love, why are you having a fight like this? You're not tired yet? Look at this motherfucker. This person is immature. This person is immature. This person is just chasing bread. That's all they're doing. They're doing it with you. They're doing it with other people. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're dealing with an immature person. You need to release and surrender and accept this situation for what it is. I don't give a fuck who it is. I don't care if it's your children's father or not. This is what this person has become. An immature bread chaser. Running around chasing crumbs to whoever will give it to him. Okay? Leaving you penniless. While they running around chasing bread. Come and take you for everything you got. And following it. <laughs> like this is. I can't. And whoever the fuck this is that's doing this. I don't know if this is the Sagittarius that's doing this. Or is this someone that's doing this to the Sagittarius. Like. That's not cool. It's not cool what you're doing. Because you're taking advantage of someone that fucking loves you. And you know that this person loves you. And you just come in the bar just to get whatever you can get. And dip off and do whatever the fuck you want to do. And calm is a bitch. Just know as above, so below. And the one that you fall in love with, they're going to see you just the same. You don't do people like that. What you put out, you get right back. The Sagittarius, or if this is the person that said this is the cross watcher, whoever this is, is that, that needs to release and surrender and accept. People can only do to you what you allow them to do. You know? Ain't nobody, listen, ain't nobody gonna come up to me and gonna say, I get down or lay down. Fuck you think this is? What you mean get down or lay down? Ain't nobody forcing you to do nothing. You understand? This ain't no robbery. This ain't no stick up. You know what I'm saying? Even if somebody was coming to stick me up, I ain't getting down or laying down. Shit, you gonna have to kill me, bitch. Fuck you mean? Hell you mean? You won't have to get a body then. <laughs> Fuck you mean? Ain't nobody robbing you. You know what I'm saying? So you can't What's this? The Jack. Lord Jesus. The Jack of Spades. The Jack of Spades. The Eight of Diamonds. This is like you telling you to protect your fucking resources, man. You need to watch your fucking money, man. Watch your money, man. This is Eight of Diamonds. All of these spades in the name of Jesus. This is ending. Like, this is this needs to end. This it. That's it. Like, I don't even need to pull no more cards. Like, no, 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 no. The jack of spades, baby. The jack, listen. <laughs> spades represents mystery, obligations, frustrations, problems, roadblocks, secrets, suffering from loss, karmic debts, obsession, addiction, sickness, anxiety, law enforcement, and <laughs> anger, loneliness. The jack of spades is someone who is very immature and just trouble follows this person. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because this is someone that is just mischief. It's just following this person right now. And I really do feel like this is an older person that I don't know what happened in their life. If they're going through a midlife crisis or something like that. Because this person is older. And they're acting very immature and very juvenile. 
very immature and very juvenile for their age and let me clarify this and it says it was careless of him to put up oh, it says it was careless of him to put another man's helmet on while the man was in it so that sounds like a thief as well you understand what i'm saying mm -mm -mm. That that now that I'm thinking about it, like the jack of the jack of a space. This is someone like this could even be someone like I just heard a warlord, <laughs> not a warlord, but no, like legitimately, like this is like a general and like a criminal enterprise. Like if you was to think about like a criminal enterprise, this is the one that goes like the enforcer, the one that wreaks havoc on the street, like. Death, dismay, and destructions and problems follow this person. Like when you see this person ride into your hood, like you hide your jewelry type of shit like that. This is the enforcer. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's just saying it was careless of him to put another man's helmet on. To put another man's helmet on with the with the man still in it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what this is saying to me is this is a situation where someone stole something from someone like this was a hijacking do you understand what i'm saying like this was a hijacking like you were driving in your car and yeah like a like a get down to lay down type of situation like this was a hijacking like someone rode up on you in your car and your shit with your female <laughs> like okay like like <laughs> okay so like if you're a female Say, like, you you at a stoplight, right? And for whatever reason, I don't know why you driving your car and your man is in the other, in the passenger seat. You should not be driving your man. Your man should not be in the passenger seat. So that just show you how much of a bitch-ass nigga that is anyway. Like, if you always be driving your car, if you be driving all of the time somewhere and your man is in the passenger seat, he a bitch-ass nigga. So that just lets you know, yeah, bitch-ass nigga, okay? So... You riding around with your bitch ass nigga in the passenger seat because he's a bitch, right? So here comes some little old hood gangster ass bitches riding up on you like, hey, bitch. Fuck out the car, yeah. I'm about to take your car and your fucking nigga and you ain't about to do shit about it. You fuck out the car, bitch. And you just like, what? This bitch that you get the fuck out of the fucking car, bitch. Hop in your fucking vehicle with your man that was in the passenger side. Why the fuck was he in the passenger side any fucking way? Do you understand what I'm saying? So if you a female, if you feel like some female came through and hijacked your bitch, that's what they came and hijacked your bitch. Because this is a bitch ass nigga in the hijack. What the fuck is a grown ass man looking around guy and a female driving him around? Like what fuck type of shit is that? You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> So, do you understand what I'm saying? So, if 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 you not if this is not a man where it was someone came through and hijacked your car with your female in the passenger seat, and she just sat there and let this man drive off with her in the car, you understand what I'm saying? Are y'all follow me? I hope y'all follow me. I hope y'all follow me. Okay, okay. So, for anyone, if you felt like someone came through and hijacked. Your nigga, your nigga was a bitch because he shouldn't have been in the passenger seat anyway. Because if he was driving the motherfucking car being a king, being a fucking king, <laughs> I just, I'm sorry, like, I just, I can't, I can't, but that's just what I'm visualizing here. Some little bitch ass nigga having his female driving him around. <laughs> Look, the jack. A space is a skillful, a clever young person, most often a male, a soldier, a cadet, a police officer, a young person from foreign country, a young leader. Most may be an unsettled, erratic, emotionally inconsistent, a youth or a troubled person, a bully, a gang member. I told you a juvenile delinquent, cold, calculating, emotionally controlled. Detached, a liar, a spy, can represent dark thoughts or thoughts of a king or queen of spades. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, 
like I said, this person could have been, because as you can see, this is someone that's older, but they, they, they succumb to their, to their low vibrations, like they allow immaturity and just like, like I said, there's someone coming through like a midlife crisis, I don't know what the fuck this shit was, but this is someone that seriously got problems, do you understand what I'm saying, like, and this person is like, being a fucking bully because if you are going to someone that you know fucking loves you giving them false hope and communication like it says being clever right a spy coming around sniffing around seeing what you got what you got what bread you got laying left around that they can take fuck out of here man like for real for real the eight of diamonds. This means to watch your finances, to watch your resources around this person. You guys, listen to me. This says fluttering about in all directions. A very bird like they look. This nigga's a bird. This motherfucker's a bird fluttering all about. Do you understand? Fluttering about in all directions. And very like birds, they look. This motherfucker look like a bird. Fluttering all about. Just doing whatever the fuck they want. Like, and leaving you out in the cold. And, and like, I'm trying to tell you, this, I, look, I've been studying these cards and if I know some of them. Uh, it says, caution, careful planning, balancing the book, financial restriction, the need to curtail spending, ups and downs of money management, cycling of money, tax planning, number counting, a person wearing glasses, watchfulness, the eyes, watch this motherfucker fluttering about like a fucking bird in and out. This person is clever. This person is cold. Is calculating. Like I told you. This person is not even giving you emotions. You're trying to crack this code. Trying to figure out what's going on with this person. I am trying to tell you. Whatever money that they got. They holding that shit back. They ain't giving it to you. Whatever they got. Emotions. Anything. They're not giving shit to you. They are coming around like a spy. Like a thief. Like a gangster. Trying to take from you, protect your pockets, protect your resources. Oh my gosh, Jesus. The six of spades. This says there's a reason they're called lessons because they lessen from day to day. Your lessons in this situation will lessen. They will, you know, from day to day, you will learn. Hopefully you are learning from day to day. The six of spades means endings, means changes due to loss, due to mishaps, due to failure, due to inconsistencies, problems, roadblocks, due to loss. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's a very negative card. The six of spades traditionally a card of completion, the end of one phase and the beginning of the next. A permanent ending, a situation or relationship has run its course. The need to let go, release of what no longer serves, parting of ways, moving on to something new, making progress, a moving force, moving to a new residence, a mode of transportation, a car, a truck, a train, or a bus. So this could possibly meaning, you know, y'all might have to move to another fucking residence due to this because... I'm trying to tell you this person, you go, you keep dealing with this person, allowing this motherfucker to keep coming in and out, in and out. And this person just coming, taking as they go, taking as they go. And you're not watching your pockets. You're not watching this motherfucker. You're not paying attention. You know what I'm saying? You're not paying attention, baby. You're not paying attention, you Y'all got to pay a fucking attention, you I don't want this to end in, 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 in something bad, like financially for y'all, like... Because you're letting your heart get in the way. It's something that's so evident and clear. Like this person keeps leaving you in the cold. Why do you keep begging this person to come back and to let you in? Why do you keep hoping and praying that this person comes back in to give you something? They don't want to work shit out. They're not doing it. It's false promises. 
Uh, give me guidance. Give me guidance and love. Let's see what we visually, what's the visual principle here. Mm, 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 mm. This is the this is the temptation. This is the temptation. This is the devil card. This is you being trapped, being bound. It's like this person is a temptation for you. You cannot seem to release this person's control to be able to manipulate you. And not only that, watch yourself because this person, like this person, it, it, he controls you through your children. This person is not beneath wanting to create another child with you so that you can't go anywhere, you know, so that they can control you. You guys, you guys. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. I feel like your guardian angels is looking over you. And I also feel like y'all are pregnant. Y'all are pregnant. Y'all are pregnant. Y'all let this person come around again and impregnate you. Mm, mm, mm. Please confirm this for me. Give me guidance and love for my Sagittarius. Mm. Change is coming. You know, they're moving in again. Y'all might be moving. A mature man. Official person. I feel like there's going to be movement in y'all's love life. Um, a more mature man, an official person is going to come and step in. Um, mm, and a child. I told y'all y'all pregnant. Mm, 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 mm. I'm not trusting this though. I don't like, I feel like this person is. This person is going to try to move back in. This person is going to try to move back in. They're going to try to make themselves seem like they're the more mature person now that they've grown up. That they're going to be the official person. That they're going to do right by you. And it's all. They're going to try to lure you in with another pregnancy. It's another pregnancy coming. Especially if you're trying to leave. If y'all are trying to leave. This person is going to trap you with another child. And I feel like I, I just heard some of y'all are already pregnant and y'all know it. Y'all already know y'all pregnant. And that's another reason why I was telling you to watch your coins. You already are going through financial troubles. And it's like this person keep... This person ain't going to do nothing but leave you with that. Oh my God, Jesus, help me. This person just coming back because they need a place to stay. This person is using you. Spirit, give me guidance and love for my Sagittarius for July. Lord Jesus. Sickle, you need to cut this person out of your life so that new shit can grow into your fucking life, man. Because I want this to mean for me. Like, I really want this to mean that change is coming your way a new mature person is coming that's going to be the official person and it's going to result into a child with a new person i really do want to say that but that's not what i'm feeling you guys because you're still tied and bound to this person and this person knows that you're trying to leave you see what i'm saying you see all of this shit on his forehead you see all this stuff this person knows that you're going to leave they, they know it you about to go through another pregnancy cycle you see you see all the zodiac signs and stuff around this this child and your guardian angels is like literally like screaming to me right now. You need to cut this. This person is going to trap you with another baby. Do you understand what I'm saying? This gentleman is going to trap you with another baby. You're in crossroads with this person. You need to like, you need, you, you need to, you need to make choices and decide and decide what's going on. Because you're in a crossroads. Spirit is trying to tell you to cut it out. But you're still in a crossroads. In regards to matters with this person. We got the moon. Chaos. Confusion. 
needing <laughs> go through some soul searching. You're going through cycles, cycles, cycles. The lady right here, and then they go to the ace, uh, the ace of spades that also represents death, closure, clouds, mm. Mm, mm, mm. problems, blurred visions, storms, misfortune. Listen, listen, you need to cut this person out of your life. Okay? You've been stuck at this crossroads for far too long. Do you understand? Nothing new is going to grow in your life until you cut this person out. You will bound and tie it to this person. It's like an addiction. It's like an addiction. It's like you cannot let this person go. And you need to cut this person out. Or this person is going to trap you with another baby. Yet again. And you're going to be at the same crossroads that you're at. Trying to figure out how can I cut this person out of my life. I can't because this motherfucker just got me pregnant again. I just allowed this person. You know what I'm saying? To get me pregnant again. So now here he come with his bags. Or here she come. Now they about to move back in. And here you go again. About to go. <laughs> Listen. This is someone stuck in on dreams. Illusions. Fairy tales. Thinking some shit is going to get better. And this motherfucker is going to change. This person is not. This person knows what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They know you. They know you. They know you. They know you. And you're going to allow this person to come in. They're going to tell you all the little fairy tales. Listen, they're going to tell you all the little make-believe and fairy tales and shit. Your ass going to be back in love again. And there they go. Bringing them, 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 them. <laughs> bringing all that bullshit back into your life. It's going to be a lot of disfortunate shit going on, y'all. Let me get y'all's last card in love and then we're up out of here. What is this just saying? It says, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For your heart is the gateway to your soul. Okay? Again, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So you need to figure out what it is that you're going to do about this situation. I'm telling you. What it seems like to me and what the cards are saying. The general energy is release, surrender, and accept. And, and for the ones that... If y'all been feeling weird, y'all been tired and shit like that, you're pregnant. So, you guys, I love you. <sighs> mm. I'm really not liking the way this shit is ending. Let me... I'm not liking this shit. I need some additional guidance, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Because I can't. I gotta go ahead. Spirit, please give my Sagittarius some additional guidance here. And love and in life. For July. Please give my Sagittarius guidance here. And love and life. July. Mm. This spiritual union is in the reverse. Like, this is not the spiritual union that you think it is, baby. Do you understand what I'm saying? What is this? Accelerated motion. This situation is not going nowhere. This is... <laughs> So the third eye chakra, you need to open up your third eye and be more aware about this. Recognition and reward. You got your head down looking for recognition and reward, though. Fulfillment and wishes. Fulfillment of wishes. Listen, I can't stress to you no more. It don't matter what decks I'm going to pull out. I can pull every, all 50 of these decks out, baby, and they're all going to stay the same. You need to release and surrender the situation. You're holding on to this because you think there's some type of spiritual union. And it's not. This shit is not going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Stop putting your head down in shame. Looking for acceptance and reward. 
You need to be grounded and rooted in this situation. Look, there's going to be three people in this situation regardless how you cut it. This person is not getting rid of that other person. Your wish fulfillment is not going to be granted here. I don't give a fuck how many children you had by this motherfucker. Here today, gone tomorrow. And who going to be stuck raising the children by yourself trying to figure out how to pay these bills? Think about what you're doing. And can't nobody do nothing to you that you don't allow. You know this person ain't shit. You know this person ain't offering you shit. You are allowing your mind to be clouded with fairy tales, with dreams, with illusions, with falsehoods. Wake up. Because when this man gets the fuck up and leave your ass out there again and you be begging with a new baby, <laughs> with a new baby, you're going to realize you should have let that motherfucker go. And they're called lessons because they lessen as the days go by. But they're not going to lessen if you continue to contribute to your own foolishness Sagittarius I love you hopefully next video is a better video um, but I really hope that y'all don't just click off this video just cause I'm not telling you what you want to hear I really hope that y'all are listening and understanding what I'm saying especially for the ones that you listen do not be having unprotected sex okay if this person ain't showing you nothing no different he did not. Okay? Sagi, I love you. Peace.